Hello, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Welcome again to my aviation training solution for today. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I am an aviation technical instructor. Today, I'm speaking from on board the A330, one from the most popular wide body long range airliner in the world. And I need to tell you that it is really having a really, really sophisticated fuel tanks. When you are go to the cockpit and bring up fuel e page, you will find that fuel quantities for each tank are displayed in kilograms. So, how these fuel quantities are displayed? I said kilograms, right? So it is a mass. For fuel mass, simply, it's from the mass formula that mass are equal or is equal volume multiplied by density. So inside fuel tanks, there are components for calculating fuel volume and other for fuel density. So I can tell you that there are fuel quantity indication probes, fuel quantity compensator probes, and fuel densitometers. They are all electrical components and some of them like densitometers and the compensator probes are totally immersed in fuel and the other is a fuel gauge. Fuel quantity probes are of the capacitive type. So when fuel volume or fuel level inside the tanks are or is it changed, the capacitance from these probes are changed. So fuel quantity indication probes and the compensator probes are for calculating fuel volumes. Compensator probes are totally immersed inside the fuel for fuel permittivity or we can say it more simple due to fuel temperature effect or effect so the fuel permittivity may change or fuel density may change and fuel quantity indication probes for fuel level inside the tanks and fuel densitometers for calculating fuel density so this is the basic science behind fuel quantity indication for indication of a mass you need to calculate the volume and the density and you need to relate the temperature as fuel volume change with temperature due to fuel permittivity this is the effect or effect of the temperature on the fuel volume thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft safely